Hi, my name is Vincent and today I want to take a look at the exterior angles theorem. So we have the measure of an exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of the measures of the two non-adjacent interior angles. So let's use this diagram to interpret the meaning of this theorem. So we have some exterior angle, which in this case is modeled by angle ACD. And the way we build an exterior angle is we extend one of the sides of the triangle via a straight line. So line segment BC, we extend this line segment to BCD, and that creates angle ACD. And now we're saying that the measure of this exterior angle is equal to the sum of the measures of the two non-adjacent interior angles. Well, the only adjacent interior angle we would have would be at angle C, formed right here. So we're looking at the non-adjacent interior angles, and when we add these two together, we get the exterior angle. So let's take a look at why this is true. So if we sketch some general triangle, we'll call this triangle A, B, C. We want to build a triangle that looks a lot like the triangle in the diagram. So we extend side BC to form line segment BCD. So now we could name the four angles involved in this problem. Let's say the measure of angle A, we'll call the measure of angle AX, and we'll have the measure of angle B, we could set equal to Y, and we could set the measure of angle C, we'll say the, the measure of angle BCA, we could set that equal to Z. Just make this a little bit darker. And we could set the measure of angle ACD equal to U. And because we're using four different variables, it doesn't matter what we call them. But now let's try to see why this exterior angle is equal to the sum of the two non-adjacent interior angles. We have the sum of the measures of the interior angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. And now what that theorem allows us to say is we have X plus Y plus Z, which is the sum of the interior angles of triangle ABC, is equal to 180 degrees. And now using the Euclidean postulate, the measure of a straight angle is 180 degrees, allows us to set up the second equation, Z plus U equals 180 degrees. Remember, we assumed that we were extending line segment BC to create line segment BCD. So we have a straight line, and this angle here, angle BCD, forms a straight line. So we have Z plus U equals 180 degrees. So now, the last thing I want to look at is the transitive property of equality. It states when we have three quantities, in this case we have A equal to B and B equal to C, that implies that A equals C. And what that means is, if we apply that to these two equations, we have X plus Y plus Z equals 180 degrees, and we also have Z plus U equals 180 degrees, which allows us to say X plus Y plus Z equals Z plus U. Since both of these quantities sum to 180 degrees, then those two quantities must be equal. So now we could simplify this equation. We could subtract Z from both sides, and now on the left hand side, Z minus Z cancels, and on the right hand side, Z minus Z also cancels. So now we're left with X plus Y is equal to U. So now, instead of calling this U, we could replace this with, this is equal to X plus Y, which is exactly what we wanted to prove from the theorem. We have the measure of this exterior angle is equal to the sum of the two non-adjacent interior angles. Okay, well this is going to conclude this proof of the exterior angles theorem. Thank you all for watching and I hope this video was helpful.